protect one another, fight for one another, and look for the bridge builders in our society and our communities. It's not political, it's about humanity. And that is why I came here. Because the governor of this state is a bridge builder. He has built a bridge between the north and the south. I want to repeat what I said earlier. The violence and the butchery and the carnage that has taken place over the last few years in the Corn North has been underreported. And many of us have not spoken up about it enough. And I include myself. We focused on the killings elsewhere, which are terrible, barbaric. But we must learn the importance of the principle that an attack on one is an attack on all. And therefore I urge the media and the publishers and the proprietors of television stations and so on and so forth to let the world know the truth about what, or what was happening here, which thankfully has stopped for about a year now. But what was happening here is unprecedented and unspeakable. And most people don't know. And what's happening in Katsina? What's happening in other parts of the Northwest? And it, pe people have a right to life. People have a right to live. These are human beings being slaughtered. I repeat, in some communities, 350 people in one day. And nobody seems to care. Nobody reports it. It won't make headlines because those people are from here. If you do the same elsewhere, I, I always talk about one particular case in southern Kaduna where 800 people were killed on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve uh, 2016. And it, it just stuck in my mind. That I just I can't get my mind around that amount of slaughter. And that, of course, made national headlines, international headlines. But where you have in Zamfara, 350, 400 people killed in one afternoon, including children. And nobody reported, this is wrong, it's unacceptable, it's uncivilized, and we must change it. So I'm calling on media houses. Let the world know what is happening. It's when you do that, then leaders will act fast, and they'll step in and stop the carnage. Thankfully here you have somebody who has done that, even without any publicity. He's just done it because it's the right thing to do. That's matter one. I sincerely hope that we will rise up and understand that every life is important. All Nigerian lives are important, not just some, all Nigerian lives.